Hello guys and welcome to my kitchen. We're going to eat the kitchen right now for a night baking session. It's currently 9.45ish and so for me it's definitely night and I'm going to bake a banana bread which is one of the most easy, comforting, delicious and homey cakes there is in my opinion it's so 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 good i can't wait to, to uh, bake it and it's also the first time that i'm making in my new kitchen i've never also used the oven until now just like once but it was just like to radiate something so i'm very curious also to see how um it's going to work hopefully hopefully it's it's very good. So yeah, it's time to bake now. Okay, so I have here all the ingredients that we will need for baking a banana bread. Definitely, most importantly, bananas. In my opinion, the ripest, the better. Um, it's just, I think that the banana bread just eats differently when they are Right, right. So yeah, I have another one somewhere that I'm just going to use as a top, as like a garnishment or something like that. Then look at this. I generally do not use yogurt, plain. This is plain yogurt for my banana bread. But thanks to my friend who forgot this huge jar here. Um, I don't want it to go to waste, of course, so I'm going to try and add it with the yogurt. It will be okay because it will make it a little bit moist, which is nice. So, this one. Then we have just seed oil, flour, baking soda, salt, eggs. Then we have just yeast, vanilla flavoring and also cinnamon. I love to put cinnamon in the banana bread. So good, so nice. Then we have walnuts, which we have like to chop a little bit. And brown sugar, that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything actually. Yeah, I think that's it. So we're going to start and put everything together. I do not use any recipe, online recipe. I just follow like by heart what I always do when I want to bake a banana bread. Um, but I'm definitely going to um, link you down all the ingredients and write you down all the ingredients that I used to bake my own <laughs> banana bread. But of course, on the internet there are plenty of recipes different kind of recipes that you can follow also um, basing what you like in a banana bread or you don't or your preferences so i'm going to start by chopping a bit not too much on the walnuts you know what i already changed my mind which happened very very easily with me uh, but I cannot be bothered with chopping them for ages very finely and nicely. So here they go for a second in a mixer. Two seconds later, here we are with our, our finely chopped walnuts that we're just going to put back here for a sec. So now that we have our banana on the bowl, we just need to mash it and then mix it with the yogurt. So now they're 
berry mix together and this looks so yummy so so yummy need a bigger bowl so we start with eggs then all the other ingredients that are missing and now we just need to mix them need to add the oil very very slowly so now it's really time to add all the remaining dry ingredients to the bowl which are the flour which I sifted the baking soda yeast vanilla flavor cinnamon and a pinch of salt it is ready to go in the oven which I preheated at 180 degrees and for approximately like um, 40 minutes Well, I wait for the cake to be fully baked, I think like more 20 minutes to go I'm just chilling, reading my current book, which is Picnic at Hanging Rock. I've always saw like the TV adaptation, never read the book. And, uh, I've always been kind of intrigued by the story and it's so, so good. Love the descriptions. I think the descriptions are so good in this book. Like it makes me want to go to this heavenly idyllic place even though it is not if you know the story but I love how John Lindsay the author of the book uh, make us like fully go into the reality she's describing and makes me want to go to Australia you know so cool and nice love how the girls are dressed I mean, with their petticoats, the summer dresses, the stockings, the high gloves, the little hats. I don't know, it's so, so nice. But I have to tell you the truth that I do not remember from like the, the, the film and adaptations that I saw, how these hands, I actually do not remember. So I'm very curious to say um, where this will hand, really. Truly a nice, nice book. Also, I love this cover. It's so cool. Always talking about like the dress haze the girls um, have. Oh, and if you have not read this book or you don't know what this book is about, I think it can be described as a thriller, a crime book, but I mean, yeah, it can be because it's what it is, but it's not your general crime book in my opinion. And I also love how it's described in the back cover here by The Guardian that says, a sinister tale laced with touches of otherworldliness. And go ahead and read it for a little bit more. So here it is. Look how cool and delish this looks. Also, my God, it smells so nice. I'm kind of tired right now. So uh, I'm not able to stay up and wait for the banana bread to be a little less hot, to have it cooled down a bit. So I'm definitely going to sleep now. But we will try the banana bread tomorrow morning. First things first. Good morning. It's the next morning. I had my beauty sleep. I'm all relaxed now. But it's time to try the beauty here. So look how 
good. These banana bread looks. I think I've done such a nice job yesterday night. I mean, I still have to try that and to see how it tastes, but we are starting good, good, so good. Looks so nice. But I think that I'm just going to have a slice of it with a little bit of jam and peanut butter. Got myself a little plate, how cute, with just like berries, jam, and 100% peanuts, peanut butter. Let's give it a try plain first, let's see. It's so good. Mm, my god, it's so good. I'm so happy it turned out so tasty and moist. I also put a very little quantity of sugar because I do prefer when it's like rather a bit less sweet. But like, I mean, you can add whatever sugar you want, of course. I'm so happy, it's so good. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish my breakfast. I hope you guys loved this first Eat the Kitchen with me. I can't wait to actually show you other recipes and what I also cook for myself daily. And hope you enjoyed seeing me bake uh, this little cake. So good, one of my favorite recipes for sure. And it turned out so good. So let me know if you guys uh, want to try that out and if the results as, are as good as mine. But thank you for watching as always and I will see you very soon.